hello friends welcome you in this video tutorial this is the second video on uh, on object cloning in java in previous video tutorial we had seen of uh, example first and there we have seen how to make a clone of any existing object in java and that approach was basically following a uh, shallow cloning so if your uh, model class contains only primitive or a string data type then not a problem right so if you get the cloned object and if you make any changes on, on the cloned object that will not be reflected in the original object right but uh, if what if there is a, another object reference in your class like here you can see employee is having a reference of address right so as already mentioned uh, when you clone an object all the values uh, for the fields are copied to the cloned object uh, since java is passed by value if the fields value is a is a reference to an object or memory address it copies that reference to the field of the cloned object in that case referenced field is shared between both objects and any changes made to the referenced field will be reflected in the uh, original object as well right uh, this process of cloning when the field values are copied to the new object is known as shallow cloning right and shallow copy or shallow cl cloning shallow copies are simple to implement and typically chief they can be usually implemented by the simply copying the bits exactly now in this video tutorial we'll see what is deep cloning basically so basically deep cloning comes into the picture when your object uh, like here employee is having a another reference of another object another custom object and in this this case you're basically uh, if you don't want references uh, of the object being copied during the cloning process then uh, option is deep uh, copy when a deep copy is done objects referenced by the uh, cloned object are distinct uh, from those referenced by the original object and independent deep copies are more expensive uh, as you need to create additional object and can be substantially more complicated due to references possibly forming a complicated graph right so here let's see try to understand first of all we will see uh, if i apply a shallow copy in this case then what will happen so let me uh, explain you this model class we have an employee class which implements clonable interface right because we want to create and clone of this employee uh, class object and that's the reason you have to implement clonable inter interface and that already we have discussed in the previous video tutorial now we have a some uh, fields private as well as sorry uh, primitive as well as uh, uh, string data type fields and we have one reference and these all data type reference the all uh, basically stands variable we have initialized in the constructor and we have a public setter getter method and uh, i have overridden to a string method and also clone method right which making call to the super class clone method which is a type of protected uh, method right now client program here and here, here we have address and address is having some fields public constructor and public setter getter method and of course i have overridden two string method here as well so here you can see now client program what i have done i have created an object of address right and uh, second object of employee and here uh, we have a, we are passing employee id name age employee uh, email address password as well as address reference which we have created over here now we want the, a clone of this employee one employee one is the original object now we want the clone of employee one and that's the reason i am calling clone method which is already overridden in the employee class now uh, we have typecasted this return clone method is running object so we have typecasted and we got the cloned object right employee two is the cloned object and here i am printing original object as well as cloned object right if i run this application so here not a problem right so if you see the original as well as uh, cloned object content is exactly same right now what i'll do i'll go to the cloned object and uh, here we have a cloned object this is and what i'll do i'll make some changes in the let's say set name so first of all i'm going to change the name so name is original object name is kk 
Now here I am going to specify name education and one more field I am going to modify and that is not the direct field of employee but uh, I would say get address and address uh, so let's say I am going to change the city and original object city is the Mumbai and here in cloned object I am going to specify as uh, Delhi right and let's run this application and see the content of original object as well as uh, as well as uh, cloned object so now uh, here if I see original object uh, name is KK and cloned object Kishan not a problem so we made modification in the cloned object that is not reflected into the original object so this is prob this is not a problem now uh, if you look into the address content here in original address right original object of address Delhi and cloned object is also Delhi so when I made any modification in the cloned object that is also getting reflected in the original object and this should not happen right so if you get the cloned object then if you do any modification in the cloned object that shouldn't be reflected in the, the, into the original object right in that case your shallow clone is gonna be broken so how to fix it that's the problem so uh, solution is the deep cloning so how we can do the deep cloning you have to go to the employee class and here uh, whatever code we have written here uh, so here directly we are calling the clone method of super class and that is available in the object so here you have to do little modification so first of all what I will do uh, employee employee equals to let's type class into employee object uh, sorry uh, yeah so what you can do super dot uh, super dot clone you can do from here and that returns the object and we have type casted into employee now here what we can do employee dot get address we can do and uh, here we can call uh, set address uh, sorry so here what we have to do you have to do the set address right we have a setter method and here we will have to create a new object of address right we are not going to return the same object so here instead we will create a new object and here you can have a get address so do the get address uh, dot what I, I would say get id and similarly get address one and get address two so let's call get address two then of course we need to extract city as well so get i would say city and finally you have a zip code so get address dot zip code as well right now once you do this then either you can uh, return uh, yes here you can you will, have, you will have to return this employee object and uh, now semicolon right here object return type you can you can have a employee as well not a problem but here return type we have given the object keep it keep add it as it is and here i am going to return employee so subclass object also you can return right and a client program now i'm not gonna make any changes right now after uh, doing this modification let's run this program and see what happens so again i have ran this program and here you can see content of original object and name is kk and here kishan right so we have done the modification in the cloned object that is not reflecting in the original object that's fine and that was uh, earlier happened the same because uh, name is type of a string but the problem was with address now here you can see in original address city was mumbai in cloned object whatever modification we had done uh, we have done that is not reflected in the original object so this issue has been fixed uh, due because of the uh, deep cloning right so one thing you will have to keep in mind uh, if your uh, uh, if you want to create a clone of any object right class object and your class contains some 
uh, any uh, basically a mutable object right so this is basically mutable object uh, or you can say reference of another address then uh, you will have to go for the uh, basically uh, deep cloning and that's the way to perform the deep cloning instead of returning the same address what you can do you can create the you can call the setter method and you can create a new object basically here we have created the new object and we have extracted value from the uh, basically uh, 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 initially whatever address is coming from the uh, when we have created the original object right we have extracted value from here and if any modification is uh, happening in the clone object that should reflect it in, oh, in the only clone object that shouldn't reflect it in the original object right so that's all about the deep cloning in java i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i'm going to check in on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel